I have seen this story floating around for a little over a week, I think, about Netflix's new Viking show, specifically because of a decision that they've made. Now, we talk a lot in entertainment about what they're doing to traditionally white male characters. So often, they're getting race swapped, they're getting gender swapped. And that's the case here. But this time, it's with a historical figure. This isn't a comic book character. This is a historical figure. Netflix Vikings Valhalla race and gender swaps historical Norwegian ruler Jarl Haken. I think that's how you pronounce that, Haken. And uh, there's a picture of what the person looks like now because this is all Hollywood can do. It's not okay. It's not acceptable to tell a story that's rooted in like European history. We have to throw this in there for the sake of identity politics. Holy shit. Building upon the groundwork laid by the history-bending casting of Anne Boleyn and Queen Charlotte, the historically white and male Norwegian ruler, Jarl Haken, has been both race and gender swapped for his appearance in Netflix Vikings Valhalla. There you go. This is Caroline Henderson as Jarl Haken a Netflix exclusive sequel to history. So this is a sequel to the, 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 the show that I liked. Uh, the original Viking series, Vikings Valhalla, picks up 100 years after Ivar the Boneless began the Norse invasion of England and focuses on the European clash between Christianity and paganism beliefs, as well as the end of the Viking Age. Introduced into the series premiere episode and portrayed by Danish pop jazz singer Caroline Henderson, Jarl Haken is depicted as the benevolent and wise ruler of the Kattegat region in Denmark, itself shown to be an open haven for people of various faiths and ethnicities, ethnicities during a time of conflict based on these attributes. Though the character has regularly been uh, put forth by the series cast and crew as an entirely fictional character, given both the character's name and role, it's clear that Jarl Haken was both based on a real-world Norse ruler of the same name. Born Haken Sergensen, roughly 935, Jarl Haken, uh, the... I don't know how to pronounce some of this stuff, but in these coastal regions of Norway between this time, following the murder of his father by rival King Herod. During his time in charge, now this is a history lesson on Jarl Haken right here, explaining his decision to race and gender swap the real world historical the real world historical figure. Series creator told Decider, "I did a lot of research on the Vikings, and I certainly wasn't about to put a person of color into a role that the actor would spend all the time saying, I don't know why I'm here.' But the fact of the matter, we know the Vikings spent a good bit of time." Uh, in my story, going through the Mediterranean. And they spent a lot of time in Egypt. But they also found as they went into different cultures, they didn't dominate. They didn't conquer. What they did is they assimilated and they brought people in. So why didn't you create a new character? Instead of taking a character, a known character, and deciding to make them not only a woman, but also to make them black. They, they can pussyfoot around it all they want. Like they can try to explain it away. They can do whatever they want. But it's clear what the agenda is, man. This is a Viking series. You're taking a character that is male and white, and you're doing this to them. But yeah, there's no agenda in Hollywood. No, you're just making that up. You're just seeing identity politics everywhere. I'm sure that will be what some of the people in the comment section say. But how can you look at what's going on and not understand what is actually going on? How can you look at this and see, oh, nothing? No big deal. Nothing wrong there. This is the Hollywood agenda, clear and simple. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.